Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So if some of you follow me on Instagram, some of you will know that I have finally transitioned from part-time to full-time. So I'm now a full-time graphic designer working for myself on that hustle, on that grind, you know how it is. I feel like everything is sort of coming into place and I know this year has been awful for some people, but for me, it has actually changed my life. So this video today is a watch me design a logo from scratch. So I'm gonna be coming up with a whole brand, a whole identity. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna wing it and see what I can come up with for you guys. So I am at my desk, I am ready to go, and I'm basically gonna be treating myself like a client. So I'm gonna be coming up with the name, I'm gonna be doing myself my own mood board, I'm gonna be thinking of what sort of things I want, the style of it, everything like that, just like a client would do. So it's gonna be quite fun because I'm gonna be doing it in a style that I I've been wanting to design and I haven't had the chance because obviously I've been doing what my clients want. So this is a great opportunity for me to sort of do a little passion project and record it for you guys. So I'm currently just writing down in my notebook the sorts of things that I want and I think I've come up with the brand that I wanna do. So I'm gonna go and venture off and come up with a fruit tea brand. And this is something that I've never done before. And I think the packaging will be a really nice thing for this brand. I want it to be super colorful, super modern with a little bit of a twist. And I'm just gonna carry on writing down some of the things that I want. Maybe do a little doodle of the logo design and then I'm gonna get straight into looking into other brands, do some market research, do my Pinterest board and my mood board and then we can start designing. Okay, so I've had a little brainstorming session and I think I've come up with a really cool name. So I'm gonna name the brand Spill the Tea, which I think is quite cool, quite modern quite down with the kids which is what I'm wanting to go for um, and it's just such a nice name that fits with the brand and I can make it really cool and make it stand out so I'm excited to get this done but let's go and do our market research and create the mood board so I am just researching some fruit tea brands I'm just gonna see what's sort of out there if there's anything that I sort of like the look of or if I'm just gonna go completely different. So I'm noticing that a lot of the brands are really old fashioned, which I really do not like. Like this one, I just don't like that. Yeah, there's very, I'm just not liking any of these. Okay, so this is cool because it means I can put a really nice modern twist on it and actually make these tea brands look really cool. So I'm wanting to make them really colourful. A lot of these are quite colourful um, because obviously it is fruit tea and you want that fruity sort of vibe to it, but I don't get some of these. I guess it's a bit like, I don't know, it's strange. There's not any that I've seen yet that I sort of like, so at least I know what not to do and what I can do. I've already sort of come up with a little Pinterest board and I'm gonna just carry on doing that. So I really like the look of this sort of vibe. Um, it really caught my eye and I feel like sort of nice bright colors are really gonna work. Oh, see, this is cool. So with Pinterest boards, I always just create a new board and then pin loads of things that I like the look of to the board. Oh, that's cool. And then this will sort of give you a sort of style and an idea of what you're wanting. So I'm just gonna go back to that first one that I found. And I'm just gonna have a look now and show you the board after. So I've got my full Pinterest board now and I'm really liking the colorful fruity vibe of the board. This is exactly what I want the brand to represent and people to sort of feel fruity and happy when they see the branding, which is what you should feel mm. and it will make you want to buy the brand. So I'm definitely getting that really nice fruit vibe, colorful, happy and quite out there. I like these sort of patterns so I'm definitely 
gonna be including some of those in with my brand. I just like the colorful vibe and I feel like this branding is gonna look and have a really nice feel to it. So I'm gonna put some of these in Illustrator and then I can get straight on to the design. So what I normally do is copy some images from my mood board that stand out to me the most and copy them into Illustrator. I normally have two boards up in Illustrator so I can create my mood board on one and then design on the other. So I still have the mood board there so I can always keep going back to it knowing what sort of vibe I'm going for. So I'm just gonna do that now for you. So I'm really thinking of going for a more scripted font than a bold font as I feel like this is a lot more softer and I feel like the vibe of it is just gonna be a lot better and it's gonna fit with the brand more. So I'm gonna get straight into it and obviously I've named the brand Spill the Tea. So what I normally do is just write out the name of it and then find some fonts that I like the look of and then just sort of go from there to be honest. So what am I thinking? I have a really nice font on here that I've been wanting to use actually so I'm gonna have to try and remember what that is. I think it was this one actually. So I'm gonna remember that. I know I'm gonna change it so they're not underlined. Um, so you can do this in the glyphs. Some fonts have um, extra glyphs, so you can actually amend some of them. I love that you can do this with some fonts because it can actually just change the whole look of everything, which is really nice. And I really like this font already. And sometimes you can find your font straight away and sometimes you can literally spend hours doing it. So I know the feeling. Um, I'm gonna try and find, see if I've got anything else similar to this one. Um, I don't want it to be too retro -y, so I don't want like a groovy script. I wanna keep it nice. That's quite cool, I like that one. And again, you've got some really nice glyphs on here, so I definitely like this one as well. This is gonna be so hard. Ooh, I love that on the T. Um, maybe I will find something a little different just to see if that's the font that I wanna go down. Um, I mean, you could have something like this, but Oh, I like that. I still feel like this is too old fashioned for what I'm wanting to go with. So I'll leave it there. Um, but I definitely like the feel of these two. And I feel like I'm going to have a play around with them and see which one I prefer. So as you can see, I really like the look of these two. I really like the feel of them. They just feel as if they're gonna go with the brand. I love these little lines coming off of the S and I love how it just feels free and I really like it. But I'm just unsure on which one I kinda like the best. I mean, this one, they are quite similar, but they are different if you know what I mean. This one is a lot more spaced out, whereas this second one is a lot more enclosed and 
I'm not sure, but I'm gonna keep having a little play around with it and see if I can add a little more to them and then I'm just gonna pick one and go with it. Okay, so I have actually chosen the one that I like. I did edit it a little bit more just to get the feel of it and added some extra bits. I really like the full stop to it. It's like spill the tea. Stop, like full stop. Do you know what I mean? If anyone else gets me, like spill that tea. So yeah, I like this one. I think this one looks the best. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna put uh, my outlines to strokes because obviously we want that to be a full um, outline. So all you wanna do if you have any um, is go to object, path, and then outline stroke. And it is now a solid object and we can outline everything out. So I'm just gonna highlight it and then I'm gonna press command shift O and this outlines everything. And I think I'm gonna just make these into one so I'm going to unite them I'm just going to move this T a little bit oh I forgot about this one so I'm just going to outline that one as well copy it into here and then I'm going to unite them I'm going to move this one over a little bit because this um, end of the T wasn't lined up and it just needs to go in a little bit more I also really like this line underneath as well just like spill the tea. I don't know if I'm making any sense here, but in my head, it works. <laughs> I guess that's all about being creative, isn't it? And then don't forget my full stop. I'm gonna outline that one as well. So now everything is outlined and I'm happy. Now we go into finding the right colors. So I really want to get a thick border on this sort of text just to give it that depth and for it to really stand out. So this is where I'm gonna be adding in colors, seeing what works best. But first I am gonna be adding in that extra border. So to do this, you wanna go to object, path, and then I'm gonna offset the path. So this is just offsetting a nice thick path around the actual text. So I think I'm gonna keep it, maybe see what 30 looks like, that might be too much. Yeah, I want there to be a gap between that. And you can basically change the um, roundness of it, whether you want it to be straight or round. So it is pretty round anyway, because my edges of the text are quite round. So I'm gonna leave it like that. And what I'm gonna do is copy it and then paste it back into place by pressing command B and then I just group it and then I unite it so it becomes one thing and then this is where I'm just gonna add a color. Ooh, see already I am liking that. I might just go in and maybe get rid of this and this. See what that looks like. Oh, it hasn't picked up my, I swear I put, that to outline. Um, maybe, maybe, oh, it's, I'm just gonna draw a circle, and then I was going on there. But I'm just gonna redo this so that dot gets in there because he was feeling a little left out. So let's offset the path again. And my full stop is added in, which is good. And then I'm just gonna do exactly the same thing as I did find that yellow again. I don't even know if I'm gonna use yellow yet, but I mean, that is looking pretty nice. Oh, I really like that. It looks really modern and just, yeah, I'm liking it. That's all I'm gonna say. Kind of works with the black and the yellow, but I'm gonna duplicate that and keep it just in case. So I'm gonna be trying out a few different colors and to do this, I normally just put them sort of side by side with each other. So then I could see what sort of colors work well together and which ones don't. 
So I'm just going to group all the text so it makes it easier for me. So let's go in and I think my dog is scratching on my door right now. She's trying to get in my YouTube video. She wants the fame. I'm just going to let her in because I don't think she's going to stop scratching. I have a little fan and a little watcher watching me today. So, great. Please just ignore my dog if she starts doing anything weird in the background. Not my responsibility. I ain't taking the blame for anything that she does. Anyway, let's get back to this. So I'm just gonna find some really nice colors, see which ones are gonna work nicely. Um, I do want them to be quite bright and in your face so you recognize them. Um, I think that one's way too bright. Well, that's kind of nice. Um, let's have a look. I do kind of like that blue with oh i feel like i'm just gonna end up liking all of them all of the colors um and not being able to decide so let's see what happens but the good thing about this is maybe we can do a load of colors to match the flavor of the tea so then i can have all of them because then that would work um let's try some more I, love, I actually love making brands. I just, that's like my favorite thing. Finding what works, finding a new sort of style because I haven't done a style like this before with, um, it's this very different scripted font. Um, and it's like, normally I would use like a really nice elegant font, but found this one and really, really like it. So that's good. I think that one's too in your face. Oh, I really like that. So that can be like strawberry fruit tea. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, what color, what color, what color? Mm, we haven't gone like green, have we yet? Didn't mean to do that. What color goes with green? Ooh, I like them all. I think this one needs to be a bit more red, a bit more richer. Ooh, yes, I like that. Okay, so I feel like these will be really good for the actual packaging, so on the different flavors of the tea, but we need to get a normal logo. So I'm gonna have to decide what colors I might Mm. let's get another artboard and then we can play around and see which one is gonna work because i'm gonna have to decide i think this is the struggle as a designer picking the actual color color palette oh that one is so nice spill the tea I, can i make a new fruit tea brand and just use this because i feel like it's really nice just saying Oh, I just, I think I like that one. I don't know. I'm gonna have to, I did like it in black, but um, I don't know. I don't know. My dog is snoring so loud. She is living her best life. Let me just tell you that. Ooh, spill the tea, spill the tea, spill the tea. I feel like that's quite hard to read now. Mm. I do like this one, I think. Can you stop snoring? Please. It's so loud, so loud. Trying to ruin my video. I do like this one a lot. But I feel like Maybe we go for a black and then everything else can be based around the flavors of the tea. Although I feel like black is a bit too harsh for what I'm wanting. Spill the tea. I just like, I 
feel I feel I think I'm gonna go for yellow yellow and strawberry color it's fresh it's nice it's very in and a bit out there so I think I'm gonna go for this and then I can use other colors for the other flavors cool right so I'm gonna move this upboard up here so I still have it and then I'm gonna see what this looks like I'm gonna have a play around so obviously this is the main logo oh that's really nice I like it and I want to get some really nice patterns in here of some fruit like on this one they've made them into characters which I think is really cool um, on all of the other tea brands they were actual real images of strawberries oranges things like that and it just looked really old-fashioned and I feel like having sort of cartoony fruits in there will make it very modern and very different to the norm so that's what I'm gonna do so now what I'm gonna do is actually make a submark logo of this so an alternative version of it something a little simpler because at the moment it is quite a wordy and long um, logo so the whole point of the sub mark is to make it a little simpler so if you ever need to put it on packaging and you just want something simpler you can use this um, as well and I maybe will make a landscape logo as well just so it is in one um, just in case you would ever need it like that so let us go so I normally take um, the first letter of everything so for this one it is the s um, i'm just gonna change it to that color um let me get the font back and spill the d i might keep it as just the s we will see what we want to do Ooh, spill the tea kind of like how that tea goes into that one still quite long but might just keep it as the S because it is quite a nice symbol um, I'm just gonna have a play around see what looks good see what looks good I think this is like the whole process of these things you have to try things out and realize that some things work and some things don't um that kind of reminds me of like a turtle because <laughs> of this little back on it so i might use mm. Kind of a cool s like this once people know your brand and a sort of symbol for it it's so easy to be recognized especially when it's so different so i do kind of like that you can sort of tell it's an s but and um, on the other hand you don't know so that's kind of cool I, I like being different and away from the norm um I'm gonna see something a sec. I'll see what this looks like actually. Oh, see, I really like that. I like it. It's nice to have a quirky logo mark, I think, for any business. So, this one is really nice. So, I think I'm gonna keep it as that. And then I'm gonna do a landscape one as well. So, oh, we're on the other font that I used. I don't want that font. Is it this one that I used? Yes. Spill. Spill the tea. I really like the name. I feel like I came up with a pretty cool name. So I'd just like to thank myself for coming up with that name. Got to be creative when it comes to coming up with new brands and I feel like this is a good name, if I do say so myself. If 
that do say so much still um still that i kind of like that that one is underlined um i'm just gonna move some stuff down um I kind of feel like it's on a slant that looks better spill the tea spill it spill that tea sister right I don't want these underlined thank you very much so spill the tea see that still looks really really nice I still feel like this is on a bit of a slant, so stop moving. I'm gonna outline these. Outline, and then I can move them. I think it's important to have different variations of your logo as well, just in case you ever need them. It's always handy to have that extra variation of your logo if that is ever a case that you need it um, you still obviously want it to refer to your main logo so I'm gonna change these I'm gonna add that really nice thick border around around spill the tea and see what it looks like Ooh, it looks good I like it I get so excited when I create brands. <laughs> I don't know if any other designer is like this, but I guess it shows you love what you do and you get excited, so always a good thing. I still don't know on the color, so I might switch that up once I've finished doing this, but that's a good thing about the process. You can always change what you've done, so don't feel like you have to stick to stuff because you can always change it. Um, it's just finding that right colour for the brand, which I don't think this is it at the moment, but we will get there. We will find it. We're going to have a little play actually with the colour and see what I come up with. And then I will show you and then we can get into some funky patterns and some packaging and finishing off the brand. So I have switched up the colors for a more softer sort of vibe and I feel like this is gonna work really nicely as the main sort of colors for the brand. So what they would use on their website, um, social media and everything like that. And then the other colors can come in with the packaging and stuff. So I'm gonna create some patterns now. Um, I do like this sort of style with the fruit so I'm gonna create my own sort of version um, for different flavors so I'm gonna maybe create like a strawberry a lime um, things like that and then see what it looks like and then hopefully be able to mock it up on some packaging and see it all come together which is always the exciting part seeing the end result when everything comes together so I'm gonna create some new artboards to show the different colors so like the ones i've done up here i'm just gonna take the colors and see what they all look like um, uh, so i'm definitely wanting a strawberry color because these colors look insane together I definitely want to get like an orange, orange and orange and sharp. I'm gonna go lighter with this one. Ooh. This is very colourful and I am living for it. I do like a good colour in my branding, as you can tell from my branding, I'm all about the colour. Just something about using colour. Spill the tea. Spill it. 
cool. So now I am actually gonna make some patterns, see what I can do. We're gonna go in for this, was it cranberry? Beetroot, ugh, a beetroot tea? Don't know about that, right, cranberry and raspberry, that's a good one because those are those colors. So, for this one, what I am thinking, what I'm thinking is having, so I quite like this sort of style with the fruit going over the logo. Um, what else? I like this one, but I won't turn them into characters, I don't think. So I'm just gonna add these near it so I know what I'm doing. So as you can see from that, I have created some patterns that look really similar to each other and are gonna work really nicely on the packaging. And I'm probably gonna do another one um, and then I'm gonna start putting it onto packaging, seeing how it looks and watching the brand come together. So that is it for the branding. I'm just gonna put on screen now the whole brand so you can see everything I've just done in a lot more detail and showcase the whole brand. So I love this branding and the outcome of the whole brand in general. I think it's so nice to be different than what is out there. So as we saw from the start, it was very old fashioned and I've definitely managed to bring in a more modern retro sort of feel to the branding and adding that color and sort of vibe, it gives you that whole scale and freedom to do whatever you kind of want with the brand. So I definitely did enjoy doing this one and let me know if you want to see any more videos like this because these these are highly requested so let me know if you liked this branding and if you want to see any more and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on so you know when I'm going to be doing my next videos.